Hello and welcome back. This is Nick again with Live 365 and in this video, this is part two for the Studio 365 Live for Mac software. We're going to take you through all the basic features and show you how to create playlists and get the software set up to go live. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, I've launched the application, I've logged into my account, and this is the interface that you're going to see. And let me show you some of the basic features. So to start off, um, over here in the right hand side you'll see account information. You can click there and it'll show you what kind of package you have, how much storage space you have for your station, how many listeners are currently listening, uh, and so on. And you can also share your station and do some other things here. Now also what's very helpful is when you're actually broadcasting live you can go up here to tools and go to status. And you can monitor some of the information involved in your broadcast, for instance, like data sent. Um, if there's any errors with the connection time, you can uh, monitor your CPU efficiency, output to network, and so on. And lastly, to check which uh, version you, you're running, you just go to here and click on About Studio, and it'll tell you which version you're running. Okay, so when you're getting ready to do your live show, the first thing you want to do is really set up your live show information. And to do that, just click on this arrow to the left. And this will expand out the side menu that has your show information. As you can see, I'm selected on the preview option right now, but I can click on Edit Talk Show Information, and I can go through and change any of this, like the host name. I'll put DJ Mike. And we'll do Comedy Hour. And then if you want to change the image, all you have to do is go online and get the image URL that you want. Copy the URL. And then pop that right in here and hit preview cover art. And you can see right away that the image will take its place in the information. Then when you're actually doing your live show, what you want to do is click update info down here and that'll publish all this information that you've changed to your live broadcast. Now that's the show info tab. Let me show you the archive tab. By default, the software is set up to automatically enable archive. And what that means is that when you do a live show, it's going to record what you're doing and it's going to record it to an MP3 file locally to your computer. Now, if you want to see where that uh, file path is of where it saves on your computer, just click show in folder. And this will give you the file path. As you can see, it's Studio 365 Live, Blue Lake Radio records and then it's got the show there. Now from time to time you may want to split that file depending on segments and commercials and other factors and you can set it to either auto split at 20 minutes or you can uncheck that and you can split now anytime that you want. Okay so moving on to uh, playlist options with Studio 365 Live. As you can see here in the drop down menu there's two playlist options. There's local playlist or iTunes playlist. Now local playlist is when you want to use this window here to build your playlist manually. And I'll show you it's very easy to do. I think I have some files ready. So basically just locate your files and all you have to do is just drag them in. And they're all ready to go. You can actually preview them. Okay, so I've got this playlist here and say you want to move the tracks around, say you don't like this order, all you have to do is click right here and drag the track down or up and you can rearrange the order. Um, you can also delete tracks by clicking the X and the software will actually check the files to make sure that the metadata is associated correctly. So as you can see here, it's giving me a missing metadata information alert on this track. So I want to double click on it and sure enough it looks like it's missing the album information. So I'm just going to put that in here. Click OK and as you can see the error is gone now. Now if you like to create playlists in iTunes it's really easy to connect with iTunes with Studio Live. All you have to do is select iTunes playlist. And here you got to scroll down to locate the playlist uh, name in iTunes. So I will select that one, and here we go. It's going to load it up right away, and you can save that as well. Okay, so that's Playlist. Now, Sound Clips is very similar to Playlist. It works the exact same way. You can locate your sound effects or sound clips that you want to use during your show, and just drop them in the same way. I have a couple here. And 
And as you can see, you can preview them, you can mix them up. It works the same way as playlists. Now, during your live broadcast, you're going to want to be switching back and forth between playlists and sound clips, depending on how you choreograph your show. Okay, and over here to the right, you'll see mode. Now, there's two modes. There's continuous and randomize. And what that does, if you have continuous selected, what that means is if you start your show and you start playing this song here first, it's going to just continue down in this order, uh, song by song, all the way down the list. If you select randomize, then whatever song you start playing on, it's going to randomly pick the next song in the list. So it may pick one at the top or it might pick one in the middle. It's going to be random. And lastly, there's the crossfade option, which you can set the, the amount of seconds that each song fades in and out before the next song starts. So that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for the next one where we go over setting up your mic and actually using Skype with a, a talk broadcast.